Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. In today's video, we're going to be making an origami star. And it's modular origami, so you'll be using eight pieces of paper for this one. And it makes a great ornament. And also, the perfect kickoff to daily December 2016. So it has been a while since I've made a video, and I'm a little rusty, but we'll get into it. And by the end of the month, we'll be right back into the swing of things. So to create this one, you'll need some teabag folding tiles. Now I do, I have designed these and I have other designs on for sale on my website. The link will be down below as well as in the upper right hand corner of your screen. So you can go and check those out and pick up some teabag folding tiles to make the project if you'd like. Okay, so you're going to need eight two inch squares for this particular project today. And I'm going to get the other seven out of the way and I'll just show you on this one and then just know that you need to do this same fold a total of eight times, so eight squares. Pattern side is going to face down and you're going to take one corner, bring it up to the opposite corner and put a crease. So now you have a triangle. We're going to open the fold up and one of these edges is going to come into that middle crease and line it up neatly. Now the key here is neatly and you want that edge to line straight up with the crease making sure that it's actually pivoting on that end piece. So you don't want any flat edges over here. It needs to be a point and give it a good crease. Now you'll see here that it's start, starting to look like half of a kite. That is a good thing. You want that. So you're going to rotate it and now take this other edge again at that point there that meets at that point and again bring it into the center crease and crease so very important that it pivots again on that point and that you're not overlapping the crease at all and the reason for that comes in a little bit later in the fold you'll you'll see why in a minute okay so now we've got this great kite shape now we're going to fold on the other side. So where this white area is, is where the next fold's going to happen. We're going to take this new edge that's been created, bring it up to the middle crease, pivoting on the point again, and crease again. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, where this flat area is, not where the triangle the new triangle is where the flat uh, single layer is. That edge is going to come into the middle and crease. And once again, pivoting at that point so you're not overlapping anything and you're not ending up with any white space down here. Now you can see that this whole thing is essentially covered with pattern now. That's a good thing as it is going to form one of these triangles here. So I've got these two bottom flaps that I've just created and I'm going to be using one of the edges of that triangle as a guide. So if I were to look at this flap I've just created, this edge right here is what I'm going to be using as the guide for the next fold. I'm going to take the top edge here and fold it down, lining it up with that top edge of that triangle. And so I'm going to fold it down, pivoting at that point, lining it up, and I'll bring it right up to you so you can see. There's that triangle, and there is the top edge lined up with it. Now we're going to open it up and now that we folded this corner we're going to come to the other side and the same thing you've got this little triangle that you've just folded in you're going to be using the top of the triangle as a guide and you're going to fold that top section down so that this edge lines up with the top of that triangle. There you go. Now something else you'll probably notice when you do that is that it also this edge here lines up 
perfectly with the side of it. So when you fold this down, this whole edge is going to fold right on top of itself. So there's another guide mark, but this point here is the most important and lining it up with the top of that should give you exactly what you need. All right, I'm gonna open it up. Now we're nearly finished. What you've done is created some guide marks in your paper. So if I pinch this up a little bit like this, you can see how it's almost made like a little bowl in there. Those guide marks are really important because this next fold is essentially going to fold into them. So pulling back with these two fingers, pushing up with my middle finger, and pinching these two on this side. When you do that, it collapses on itself. And it feels quite magical the first time it happens correctly. But that's all there is to it. I say old, I understand it's challenging. You gotta give it a few times. You may end up needing, um, there, those teabag folding tiles come 12 to a page, you may end up needing the whole page so that you can uh, you know, have a go at this a few times. But once you're happy with it, once you've perfected it, you're going to do the same thing seven more times and then we'll come back here and complete it. Okay, I've made eight little modular pieces. Now all we have to do is attach them. So you just need a little bit of liquid adhesive. I'm not using double-sided tape for these just because it's so fiddly at this size. Uh, you could. It, it all depends on your preference. Now we're going to put this together a little bit like a puzzle. So you'll have a small triangle down here and a larger triangle up here. I'm going to apply the glue onto the smaller triangle. And I look, as with many things in paper folding, a little goes a really long way. Now essentially we're just going to slot that into the, the little gap that's been created in the large triangle on the right hand side. So the left goes into the right and you're going to line up this line here with this line here. And they should be, well I say little triangle, I guess I mean top triangle. They're about the same size, aren't they? There you go, you just slot it into there and press it together. And I would hold it until it actually um, tacks to itself. Uh, and the reason is because it does tend to slip a little bit if the glue hasn't quite held on. So just give it a, a little squeeze, give it a few seconds, and then move on to the next one. So same thing, this bottom triangle is where you're going to be applying glue. A little goes a long way. And again, right into left, the little gap there, lining up this edge with this edge of your bottom triangle. And while you're doing this, you wanna focus a lot on the middle there, because remember this is going to be going around that center point. So you want all of your edges, if anything is going to be lined up, the middle needs to be lined up. Otherwise it won't work. And same, same thing again, a little bit of glue and so on. Okay, it nearly looks finished there, except this one last piece, which is the trickiest of the lot, as you can imagine. A little bit of glue. Okay, so you find that spot where they're separated, slide it into the little notch that's been created by the fold when you fold it. Line it up really well. And then this first piece is actually going to slot into that last piece and that will close it off. So when you apply the glue, just make sure that you're not putting glue all over the outside of your ornament, unless you have one that dries super clear. <laughs> and find that little gap and slot it in. Now, when you're slotting in that last one, you do wanna make sure that all your pieces 
are properly attached to one another so that it looks super neat. Okay, there it is. A star three-dimensional tea bag folding tile ornament. In order to put a thread on there, what I'm going to do is actually insert a needle right through one of the folds here and string a piece of embroidery thread on top of that. You or embroider excuse me, embroidery floss um, through it and to tie it up. You can do whatever you like. You could even put some beads onto it maybe hang it from the middle. It depends entirely on your taste. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you're ready for a few more videos coming up in the next few days on the lead up to Christmas and New Year's and uh, I'm really happy to be back guys and we'll see you tomorrow for another daily December video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.